how to make this kinetic bifold panel facade in Revit. Let's start. Open a new family and select the metric generic model adaptive. Open. Select point element. Pick five reference points as shown. Move this reference point. Select this four reference points. Make it adaptive. Select this reference point. Make it adaptive. Align or type AL for shortcut. Let's align the four reference points. Next, select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Dimensions. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Select this reference plane. Select this reference point. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Attractor distance and check reporting parameter. OK. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Dimensions. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Select this reference plane. Select this reference point. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Select instance. And check reporting parameter. Name it. D1A. OK. Dimensions. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Select this reference plane. Select this reference point. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Select instance and check reporting parameter. Name it. D1B. OK. Select the circle. Then select set work plane. Press tab to cycle the selection. Set this plane. Pick at this reference point. Draw a circle. Then select the circle. Then check is reference line. Select the line. Pick at this reference point. Draw a vertical line. Slice or type SL for shortcut. Slice the circle as shown. Select the circle. Press tab to cycle the selection. Then delete the line. Trim or type TR for shortcut. Pick this line. And delete. Select the arc. Select the blue dot and snap the nearest of the line. Dimensions. Select the radial dimension. Select the arc. Then select the dimension. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. R1A. OK. Repeat the process. Next, select point element. Then select set work plane. Press tab to cycle the selection. Set this plane. Pick at this reference line. Set work plane. Press tab to cycle the selection. Set this plane. Pick at this reference line. Select this reference point. Normalized curve parameter. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Opening NCP. OK. OK. Select this reference point. Normalized curve parameter. Associate family parameter. Select opening NCP. Next. Go to family types. Select new parameter. Name it. Attractor divisor. Select instance. Type of parameter select integer. Let's group it under dimensions. 
OK. Change the attractor divisor value to 7. And let's link the opening NCP parameter to the attractor by adding the formula. Attractor distance over attractor divisor. Open and close parenthesis. Over 5. Open and close parenthesis. Over 100. Please note. Keep the NCP value under 1. This is to avoid any error for the value. Let's try to increase the attractor divisor value to 10. Apply. Perfect. Let's try to change the attractor divisor value to 15. Apply. Perfect. Let's add a formula for R1A. Type. D1 over 2. OK. Dimensions. Select the radial dimension. Then select set work plane. Press tab to cycle the selection. Set this plane. Select the arc. Then select the dimension. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. R1B. OK. Go to family types. Let's add a formula for R1B. Type. D1B over 2. Apply. OK. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Repeat the process. Next. Select point element. Then select set work plane. Press tab to cycle the selection. Set this plane. Pick at this reference line. Set work plane. Set this plane. Then pick at this reference line. Select this reference point. Change the measurement type to segment length. Then select associate family parameters. Select new parameter. Name it. D2A. Select instance. OK. OK. Change the measurement from beginning to end. Same with this reference point. Next. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Select this two reference points. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Repeat the process. Go to family types. And let's link the D2 parameter to the attractor by adding the formula. D1A. Times opening NCP. Open and close parenthesis. Times 1.3. Same with D2B. Apply. Perfect. Let's try to change the attractor divisor value to 20. Apply. Perfect. Change the attractor divisor value to 15. OK. Next. Select this four reference lines. Then select Create Form. Change the positive offset value to 20 millimeters. Then select Associate Family Parameters. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. Panel Thickness. OK. OK. Select this four reference lines. Then select Create Form. Go to Positive Offset. And select Associate Family Parameter and select the panel thickness. Select the two panels. Let's add a material for the panel. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Panel finish. OK. OK. Go to family types. Let's assign a material for the panel finish. OK. Select realistic. Go to Family Types. Let's test the parameters. Change the attractor divisor value to 25. Perfect. Let's try a value of 35. Perfect. Change the attractor divisor value to 15. Apply. OK. Uncheck Shared. Then check Always Vertical. Save the family. Name it. 
Adaptive Bifold Attractor. Save the family. Next. Open a new family. And select metric generic model pattern based. Open. Select point element. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Then pick reference point. Set work plane. Set this plane. Then pick reference point. Select this two reference points. Go to filter. Check none. Then check reference points. Change the offset value to 500 millimeters. Then select associate family parameters. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Attractor offset. OK. OK. Then select spline through points. Then check is reference line. Select point element. Pick at this reference line. Select the reference point. Normalized curve parameter. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Attractor NCP. OK. OK. Select this four reference lines. Then select create form. Select the surface. Select the surface. Then select the divide surface. Pick this small arrow. Check the nodes. OK. Change the U grid number to 5. Then select associate family parameters. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. U grid. OK. OK. Go to V grid number. And select associate family parameter. Select instance. Name it. V grid. OK. OK. Go back to Adaptive Bifold Attractor Family. Load into Project and Close. Placement Plane. Select Level 1. Then select Place on Face. Pick 4 nodes based on Adaptive Points number. Pick this reference point as Attractor Point. Select Realistic. Select the Panel. Attractor Divisor. Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. Attractor Divisor. OK. OK. Panel Thickness. Associate Family Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. Panel Thickness. OK. OK. Then select the Repeat. Perfect. Go to Family Types. Let's test the parameters. Change the V grid number to 15. Apply. Perfect. Change the attractor divisor value to 10. Apply. Perfect. Change the attractor NCP value to 0.4. Apply. Perfect. Change the attractor divisor value to 7. Apply. Perfect. Change the U grid number to 3. Apply. Perfect. Change the attractor NCP value to 0.6. Apply. Perfect. Save the family. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Tags. Kinetic bifold facade. Parametric adaptive panel. Dynamic adaptive panel. Dynamic pattern family. Revit dynamo. Revit kinetic facade. Revit Kinetic Building Revit Kinetic Architecture Generic Model Pattern Based Family Adaptive Family Adaptive Components Adaptive Model Adaptive Points Nested Family Decorative Panel Decorative Wall Featured Wall Wall Decoration Wall Decor Ideas Wall Paneling Normalized Curve Parameter Reporting Parameter Revit Family Parametric Family Revit Parameters Revit Parametric Architecture Revit Parametric Design Revit Parametric Modeling Revit Architecture Pattern Wall Pattern Curtain Wall Revit Walls Revit Wall Cladding Revit Parametric Facade Revit Facade Design Revit Facade Pattern Revit Massing Revit Mass Tutorial Revit Mass Pattern Pattern Base Massing Design Revit Tutorial Revit Modeling Tutorial Revit Families Creation 
Revit Family Tutorial, Revit Beginner Tutorial, Revit Basic Tutorial, Revit Advanced Tutorial, Revit Tips and Tricks, Revit What's New, Revit New Features, BIM, Building Information Modeling, Revit Design, Architect Chris Cruz.